before you speak English again, before you walk into your English class or show up for your online English lesson, there is one thing that you must start doing. This is going to change the way that you learn English and it's going to change your English speaking for the better. This one thing that you do will benefit you for the rest of your life. I'm Gabby from GoNaturalEnglish.com where I help tens of thousands of English learners from around the world in my complete English fluency program. I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video, but first, I want to talk about the one thing that you can do that only takes a couple of minutes that will greatly improve your English fluency. Many times when we're getting ready for a class or a lesson, it could be in anything, not just English fluency, not just English speaking, but anything really. I'm guilty of this myself too. I've studied in a lot of different types of classes and I'm guilty of simply showing up, sometimes even late, and expecting to just be fed the information, to let the teacher do the work. I want to encourage you today to think about what you can do to improve your active learning during your lesson. What you can do, the one simple thing, I'm just gonna say it, the one thing that you can do, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it after I tell you what it is, visualize, plan, predict, guess what your class will be like and how you want it to be. You might think, oh, uh, I hope English class is going to be good today. But what if you had control over that? What if I told you that every single English lesson you had is totally under your control, whether it's going to be good or not? It's not only up to the teacher or the other students in class. This is totally up to you whether you have a good English lesson. What do I mean by that? I know you're not teaching the lesson, but you control your experience. If you can think ahead before you walk into your class or before you show up on Zoom for your English tutoring lesson, what do I want to accomplish in this lesson? What do I need to know? What is my number one question that I want to have answered? And then use your teacher as your guide, your coach, your support to help you answer that question. You are now controlling your experience in that class. You're preparing. Now, this is not just as simple as preparing because some teachers when they say you need to prepare for class, they mean of course do your homework. Obviously if you have homework you should do it before it's due, before the deadline. You know, bring your notebook, bring a pen or pencil, be ready to take notes. That's the typical kind of preparation. Even get a good night's sleep, make sure you eat breakfast, things like that. Now, what I'm talking about is mental preparation. Think ahead. What do you think the class is going to be about? Maybe you already know the topic of the class. Maybe you already know what your teacher might be teaching you. But what do you want to ask? I find it extremely helpful, and I found it extremely helpful when I was in grad school. I remember I would go to my linguistics class in my teaching English as a second language master's program, and Every time before class, before we even started class, I would write down three or four questions that I wanted to ask in class. Why? Uh, because in American classrooms especially, participation is graded heavily. I don't know if this is the same in your class, but if you're in a, an American system of education, you definitely want to ask questions. Now, culture and school systems, education systems aside, this is actually extremely helpful for your learning because when you interact with content, when you plan questions and you get them answered, you remember the content, you remember the lesson, you remember so much more, so much better, so much more deeply because now you are engaged, you have a stake in this lesson. You're not simply sitting back, looking at the clock, is it over yet? Can I go yet? <laughs> You're actually part of the class. You are participating. So again, take a few minutes before your class 
to think about what questions you have and what you want to accomplish by the end of the class. Every good teacher will have a goal for the end of the class, but what is your goal for your class? A really successful student will ask themselves this question. What do I want to get out of this class? How can my teacher help me get there? Okay, this is the key to your advancement in English quickly, successfully. You need to take control over the direction of your learning. Now, of course, if you're in a group class, you don't want to hijack the class and make it all about you. You need to be thoughtful about what the teacher prepared and allow them to teach it. But keep in the back of your mind what it is that you want to accomplish by the end of this class. If the class is an hour long, be realistic. Don't say, okay, I'm a beginner now, but by the end of this hour-long class, I want to be fluent in English. And if I'm not completely fluent, it's the teacher's fault because it's my goal to be fluent by the end of this class. It doesn't quite work like that. We have to be realistic and make a small goal. Like by the end of this hour-long class, I want to make sure that I speak English for at least one minute. I want to make sure that I ask my one most important question. I want to ensure that I will not be shy to ask my question. I want to ask with confidence, even if it's maybe not like the most amazing question, still ask your question because that's your goal. And I think all questions are good. So. Remember that you can take control of your English learning. Do this one thing before each class, before each lesson. Think about what you want to get out of the lesson. What do you want to get out of your next lesson? Whether it is a live lesson or watching another Go Natural English video here on YouTube. Was there something that you wanted to benefit from or get out of? That's a nice phrasal verb we can learn together right now. This lesson, I bet there was. When you clicked on the lesson, you had an expectation that you would learn the one thing that you should do before every lesson. So did you learn it? Did you like it? If so, make sure that you like this video and leave me a comment with your English goal for your next lesson. It's not always easy to think about this, but one other quick tip is don't make it too big. Don't make it too overwhelming. It can be as simple as I want to ask one question or I want to speak English for one minute, approximately. Keep it simple, keep it small, and each time you study English or each time you have an English lesson, you will improve a little bit more. You will take control of your learning, you'll be a more active and engaged learner, and you will be more successful with your English speaking. I really hope you enjoyed this. Now, I wanna tell you, that I help tens of thousands of English learners from around the world inside my complete English class. My complete English course is available 100% online so that you can learn from anywhere, anytime with an internet connection. There are hundreds of premium English pre-recorded lessons that are not available anywhere else, not on YouTube, not on the Go Natural English website, but only for members inside the course. They help you with everything from phrasal verbs to your mindset and your learning strategies around learning English and other skills in life. The really cool thing is it's not just a recorded course. The biggest part of this course is our community. We help you meet your other classmates in the course from around the world and you discover commonalities, things you have in common with people from other countries who are also learning English. And it is the coolest community ever. I love being a part of it. And you'll also meet our Go Natural English team teachers who are experienced expert teachers from North America. We do focus on the North American accent, but you will learn English for communicating with the whole world, with non-native speakers, with native speakers. Our focus here is not just one country. Our focus is speaking with confidence, with fluency, no matter what situation, with anyone in the world, making your voice 
heard because you have important things to say and I want to help you to say them. That is my goal. So if you're ready to learn how to better communicate and express yourself in English today, then come over to gonaturalenglish.com slash pre-reg to receive information about the complete English course. I hope to see you there. And if not, then I'll see you around here. But know that the Go Natural English Complete course is an awesome option. There are limited spots available in the Complete Go Natural English course. We only accept a few new students each time because you deserve attention and feedback and corrections. And each student is so important to us, to me. You're not just another number. The most important thing to me is to help you to reach your goals. So if that sounds interesting to you and you'd like to know more about how to join, the price, and how the course works, then go to gonaturalenglish.com slash pre-reg and I'll send you more information from there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.